Hi friends, welcome to Nessa's Nook. So today my husband helped me um, actually go ahead and actually move all these. Now this is probably not the exact setup that we're going to go ahead and use. I do have a girl light right there which is too far away, but it should help. And I have this one which is a girl light here too. And then I have these little spider ones. Um, so I have, I don't know what I was thinking when I planted my my uh, green peppers, but you know the girl loves her green peppers. And they've never looked this hardy. I was really, really shocked at the roots that were on these plants um, for being sitting there as long as they were. And uh, I have got like 60 green peppers. Yes, I know. And I have probably about 30 yellow peppers, about 30 hatch peppers, and about 30 roundabout. I don't have exact numbers because it was kind of hard to count because the different cups are the different plants. So this is just the peppers. This is um, yellow peppers, jalapenos, hatch peppers, and green peppers. And as you can see, these hold a lot of plants. Then my friends, we have two of the tomatoes that look like this. Now this will hold, I believe, 96 tomatoes. And um, there are a couple that have more than one tomato in a thing. And there's some that didn't grow any tomatoes at all. So once these get a little bit bigger, I can try to kind of separate those a little bit. And um, hopefully they'll survive too. But uh, so we were um, out in the yard today. It was a very, very nice day here in Portland, Michigan. And I asked my husband when we were out there yesterday, just looking around the yard and seeing, you know, what can be done this year. And um, the one part of the fence that we've never used for any plants whatsoever. And I said, well, do you think we could use that little drill thing, you know, and use this for the tomatoes because it gets full sun right there, which I did not think that part of the fence did. And it does. So um, we will have room, if I'm not mistaken, for at least about a hundred tomato plants. Now it doesn't mean that each one of these tomato plants are going to make it. And it doesn't mean, um, hopefully, that, you know, we get something so that the little bunnies do not sit there and eat everything up. But this will be a nice little um, thing where I'm hoping to get at least a minimum of 80 plants planted. I mean, obviously if some of these don't make it um, through the transplant and stuff like that, then, um, then obviously, you know, we would put them further apart than I plan to put them right now. But this is uh, this is the garden that's going right now. Like over here, and I'm sure um, Millie wants to know this. Try not to put this on my plant, on my stuff here without falling. These right here in these white is what Melanie at A Godly Home gave me. And... Um, I just broke one of those tomatoes. Um, anyway, so this is a couple of purple tomatoes. There's a couple of cherry tomatoes in there, and there's a couple that did not come up yet right here. But it doesn't mean that they won't. It just has not yet. So this way, Melanie, you can kind of see what your seeds have done that you gave me and my little care package. So um, I'm kind of excited. Um, this is always a lot of fun to, you know, plant the seeds and see what you'll end up for the year. Um, because we are going to be able to move the tomatoes around that, um, the other places I was going to put tomatoes, I don't have to. And now we have a place I can put potatoes that we didn't for sure have a place for potatoes. So that kind of makes me super excited about that. And, um, yeah, this should be lots of fun. Um, I don't know for sure, like I said, between this and this over here, I do not know how much I will get. I still have to plant, um my zucchini and my cucumbers because that's what i'll be pretty much growing as tomatoes cucumbers zucchini um green peppers uh jalapenos hatch peppers and yellow peppers so yeah this this is my 2023 garden so far um probably about another week i will start um the cucumbers and i have like a little uh uh tent that I could put on my porch that these could sit out on, you know, once they're getting a little bit bigger and, and stuff like that to keep an eye on. 
but this is um, this should be pretty good and um, I'm pretty I'm pretty happy with this so far these are not leggy like I have had in previous years which makes me incredibly happy because I don't have the greenest thumb but I will keep an eye on this and uh, keep you guys an updated now now that they're um, planted and then what things are looking like with the other vegetables that's going in my garden so thanks for stopping by you have a very blessed and wonderful day